Hey guys, it's Drek. I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to make my dark bow. I need a primary for HVZ that will be really accurate and hit incredible ranges, so I've decided to adapt a big bad bow with my brass breech, which you can see how to make here, and stick to the very end of this video because I have a big announcement to make at the, the tail end of it. What I've done so far is I took a stock Big Bad Bow, I modded it according to all the air restrictor stuff in this video, and then I took my diamond Dremel bit and I just sanded down and cut the bottom all the way down to this stub. So now I thought about doing an adapter, but the adapter doesn't fit my breech as well as a standard coupler. So I came in and again with this Dremel bit I... I scored all throughout here so that when I hit this up with my epoxy and then later with my epoxy putty to solidify it on, it ought to be a really unbreakable fit. So that's what I'm going to do now and then I'll talk to you about some of the integrations I'm going to do. Alright, so I just finished on the big bad bow doing my coupler mod and then I did that originally with hot glue and kind of moved it until it was straight and then I epoxy puttied it into place so this is rock solid it's not going anywhere and my breech now fits on it really nicely and that's getting some incredible ranges so the main part of this is honestly done but what's going to make it unique and great for HVZ is I'm going to use this clear night finder I picked up to integrate batteries into this front handle along with some LEDs that I'm going to hook up to the front for like a flashlight and red glow effect and then this is going to be replaced here and the only issue is I'm going to take this bottom part and try and integrate it into the night finders handle so that I can still hook up all the bow parts because even though most people hate the bow parts I think they look really really cool and distinguish it as a toy and not an actual gun which is important because I don't want to get shot on campus Hey guys, so I'm about to make my cuts for the pieces that I'm going to epoxy back together to put the majority of the dark bow together. I'm going to be making a cut right along here so that it's flat when I attach it to where that front handle is on the big bad bow. So that's exactly what I wanted. Now I'm going to come in and get the handle of the big bad bow. But first I'm going to take off this piece here because I need to attach it to the bottom of the night finder so that the bow parts can still work. This has got to be some of the thickest plastic I think I've ever cut through modding Nerf guns. It is really being a pain. That's what the underside looks like after I take this piece off. So I ought to be ready to start epoxying things back together. This is just a short segment showing you that on the night finder I decided to integrate a smaller battery pack, keep the original switch, and wire two red LEDs in hot glue that glows in the dark in parallel. So now when I pull the trigger, I get two ultra bright red LEDs.
Should be cool. All right, so I've finished the bottom of the night finder. I've attached the bow attachment here from the original Big Bad Bow with epoxy putty. And while I was doing that, I figured I'd contour it to my left hand just by pressing in while it's set, which was really cool because now it's got a custom flawless grip. I didn't know I was going to have that. I did a spring replacement in this thing so that now the draw is really heavy and it shoots my modded darts really, really far. And they're moving really fast, which I like. I did some detailing with my hot glue because it glows in the dark and the lights are still working really well. So I'm happy with how this turned out and I'm going to attach it to the dark bow now. So right now I've got the epoxy job on the dark bow finished. It's triple layered epoxy. It's a quick set and then a two part epoxy and then epoxy putty all the way around blending into the epoxy that holds on the coupler for the actual big bed bow. It's also epoxy down here. Everything's pretty solid, but I'm going to give it about an hour more to set before I put the bow parts on and the breech on and try firing it. These are fundamentally useless now because they were for the big bad bow arrows and I have no use for those anymore. I'm going to use the gears, I'm going to use the string and it ought to be really really cool. I've done a lot of detailing and hot glue so I can't wait to show it to you completed, do a test fire, and then in the dark. Alright guys, so this is my completed dark bow. Everything's epoxy is locked on really well, the breech fits well, everything's been silicon greased and I'm hitting great ranges. I'm going to show you that once I've loaded the dart into the breech, I cock the big bad bow, close my breech, cock my night finder, and then the night finder gets about 55 to 60 feet, and the big bad bow is easily getting 105 feet. Both of them are really accurate, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I'm going to turn off the lights to show you the LEDs real quick. Those are really bright, they're going to be great for finding zombies at night. And then my hot glue glows in the dark, you can't see it on the camera, but it's accented and looks really cool. The other thing that I need to do with this video, if you stuck around this long, is I'm launching my blog publicly. My blog is the Nerf Grid. Dot blogspot .com. That's just nerfgrid.blogspot.com. I'll post a link here. It's really great. It's got write-ups and mod guides for everything you need. Thanks for watching.